Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. We're diving into some of the bourbons I'm most looking forward to in 2024, part two. That's right, so go watch my video above if you haven't already. I linked some stuff I'm really looking forward to this year, but a few more things have come to light that I want to spend a little bit of time talking about. So it's not going to be like a massive number of labels, just a few things that I want to talk about tonight. So look, what's this channel a fan of? It's a fan of oak. It's a fan of aged whiskeys. It's a fan of Jack Daniels special releases. And it's a fan of Knob Creek special releases. So tonight, we're focusing on the Knob Creeks and the Jack Daniels, and what's coming up that you should pay attention to. The delicious banana scent of a little Jack Daniels barrel proof. If that ain't the best $65 hairs you spend, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. So you may wonder, what's this, what's this little box in front of me tonight? That's right. Bourbon Bill has reached a new milestone. Our first Sponsored ad, you might say. Holy crap, Bourbon Bill, you made it so far in life. Well, we have. Look, have you ever gone to a bottle share with your buddies? Found it a little hard to wake up the next morning, huh? Mmm, just not feeling 100%. Well, Zbotics is here to help with that, okay? Zbotics is the first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle those tough mornings after drinking. And boy, do they, they even take the sides of this box, okay? That's how much they care for your safety. You should know, these are sweet little bottles. You know, they're clear. They say Zbiotics on them. When you drink, I don't know if you knew this, but alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in your gut. And it's this byproduct, not your dehydrated self, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbotic produces an enzyme in this little fancy bottle right here that breaks down this byproduct. So just remember, drink this probiotic before your first Jack Daniels or Knob Creek pour of the night. Drink responsibly, get a good night's rest, and you'll feel your best tomorrow. And look, you know where I've used these at? Jason from the Mash and Drum. His summer jam at Sagamore Spirits. My brother-in-law and I went, and this right here helped us the next day. We did not feel horrible after drinking quite a bit that night of very good stuff. Dusties, you know, we had... 13th Colony Double Oak flowing like it was coming out of a fountain. A lot of good stuff that night. And this here did help us feel better the next day. So, on your screen you'll see a link. If you go to zbotics.com slash bourbonbill, you're going to get 15% off your first order. So you're welcome. Here I am. Look, I help you save money with bourbons and I'm helping you keep money in your pocket with the 15% off. So if you haven't tried it yet, go ahead and try it. It does work. I wouldn't put something on this channel that, that didn't help you out. I really wouldn't. It's not a miracle, though. It's not going to, you know, if you go out there and pound 30 Stag Junior pours in one night, it ain't going to save you, okay? <laughs> you got to be you got to be smart about it, but it does help you the next day. So get yourself some z -Biotics. All right, now, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Guess what's coming out? Okay, look. We've enjoyed Jack Daniels 10 year, batch 1, batch 2, and batch 3 from 2024. We've enjoyed Jack Daniels 12 year, batch 1, and batch 2 from 2024. Guess what else is coming out in 2024? Be up on your screen here. Oh, that's right. It's a little Jack Daniels 14 year at 125 proof. And you can hit 62.5%. Alcohol by volume. They are swinging for the fences. They're giving us a 14 year. And this 12 at 107 proof is killer. I mean, you know that this is pretty much every bourbon reviewer that likes good whiskey had this in like the, the top three, four for the past couple years. Well, in 2023, that was the first year it came out. This is 2024. But 
they had it in that top echelon for 2023. And, and this one... 2024's Batch 2 is not quite as good as Batch 1, but it's close. It's still delicious. It, it, it'll be in the top echelons of whiskey released this year, okay? And Jack Daniels went and released, is going to release a 14-year at 125 proof. Like, can... Please! Please do that, Jack Daniels. And I'm on the lookout for that, okay? 100%. I mean, so just so you know, they're doing a 10, 12, 14, and there's like an 18 and a 21-year-old, so it, it doesn't end at 14, okay? It is going to keep going. Um, I hope they just keep releasing them. I mean, they're just, trying, they're just trying to rob my wallet the whole year, okay? It's like, what, in 2030, we're going to get like batch 10 of the of the 10-year, 12-year, 14-year, 18-year, and like batch 3 of the 2020, you know, the 21-year-old? I mean, look out. I mean, they're, they're going to... Jack Daniels is is a hundred percent killing it. They have not had a miss on these age dated ones at all. They've not had a miss in their LEs, except well, the single malt was not my favorite. Some of you might have well, if you watch the channel, probably not. Other people that don't watch the channel, they probably love that. It was all right to me. They have not had a miss. Fourteen year old Jack Daniels at one hundred twenty five proof is a hundred percent. I'm going to try to get one. I know I am. Uh, we have no idea what the MSRP is going to be. No idea when they're going to release it. I'm pretty sure it's a 2024 release. But the label has come out. And it's a fancy label too. If that wasn't enough for Jack Daniels. Here comes number two on the list. It's Jack Daniels Coy Hill Barrel House 8. Holy smokes. The 2024 LE. LE from them. Is another Koi Hill. Like this delicious beast right here. This is the original Koi Hill from 2021. They did a small batch in like 2022. 2023, you know, was the twice barreled rye. 2024, Koi Hill Barrel House 8. Now, before you just go empty the 401k to prepare for this release, you got to know there's, there's some subtle differences here. Okay, the original Koi Hill that you see right here in, from 2021 was from the top floors of the Buzzard Roost at Koi Hill. So the highest floors, Koi Hill is, is the highest elevation, but Jack Daniels has more than one warehouse on Koi Hill. If we look real close at this label, we, we see there's, there's two options here. Barrel House 8 or Barrel House 13. So this is Barrel House 13, this is Barrel House 8. Both were 2021 Koi Hill releases, okay? Almost all the Koi Hills from 2021 were Hazmat, but the lowest proof was like 139 point something, okay? Almost Hazmat. Give me a break. This year's release in 2024, you know, first off, they put out the label and it says 80 proof. It's not going to be 80 proof. Relax. Don't get your panties in a bunch over that. It's not going to be 80 proof. But they do give you, it's not, probably not going to be hazmat. And here's why. If you read carefully, it says Koi Hill. Now this one's called Koi Hill Barrel House 8. So it's actually going to be a comparison to this one, not Barrel House 13. This one. So if you have an old Koi Hill and you're like, I'm going to compare them and see how they're different. Check the Barrel House number. It may not be the same Barrel House. Let's put that out there. But this is Barrel House 8. This was the top floors in the Buzzard Roost, so they say, on Koi Hill. This one says from the middle floors of Barrel House 8. And guess what happens to whiskey as you move down the floors? The proof ain't as high. The bottom floors are not 80 unless they're going to cut it. The middle floors are not going to be hazmat. The top floors are. So they have already pull, pulled the top floors. For Koi Hill in 2021, and these were nine, nine and a half years old. My guess is going to be that Koi Hill Barrel House 8 is going to be like in the 130s range, high 120s. It's the middle floors of only Barrel House 8. So it, this is going to be high than 80 proof. You're going to want it. It's going to be delicious. I'm hoping it's nine, nine and a half years old because it's going to be close to like, it's going to be like a it's going to be like a Jack Daniel's 10 year but much higher proof is what it's going to be pretty much. Koi Hill is basically Jack Daniel's 10 year at at Hazmat. That's what Koi Hill was. But I'm hoping that's what this is going to be. 
I think they're using the Coy Hill name to like really like oh pump you up like oh man it's gonna be hazmat. I don't think it's gonna be hazmat coming from the, from the middle floors. And remember, original Coy Hill was Barrel House eight and thirteen. This is only eight. So maybe 2025 or 2026, we'll see Barrel House 13 Coy Hill middle floors. You never know. So I think it's funny that they're doing that, but uh, they are. So it's a little bit of a marketing gimmick, but I trust that Jack Daniels is going to make it killer, and you're going to want it for sure. Okay, so I'm hunting that one for 2024. Now, we got to move over to my beloved Knob Creek series. What's in store for Knob Creek in 2024 is still a little bit yet unknown. It really is. 2023 brought us some older age single barrels. This is You Can't Handle Proof. You've seen this before if you watch my channel. An 11 year old store pick in 2023. I hope to see that continue. I see people now seeing 10s. I haven't seen too many other 11s, but I just hope they continue that trend. I really do. But beyond that, I'm, I'm looking for those. I'm looking for those 11 year old plus store picks that are hopefully gonna be released in 2024. But beyond that, there will be one repeat. I'm sorry, I did cover this in my previous video. Knob Creek 10 year rye. 10 year rye. Okay, we did a review, I'll link it above, of the seven year rye. It was fantastic. That seven year rye actually beat this cash strength single barrel pick rye that I have. The seven year rye is available for like 36 doll hairs, 100 proof, okay? They're coming out with a 10 year rye, 100 proof. Still looking forward to it, okay? Still looking forward to it. But the big news this year beyond that, like where's that at? Hopefully that comes out soon. And see these labels don't say limited release. So like what's gonna be the limited this year from Knob Creek? We still don't know. But the one special edition that we really gotta look for this year, it's the Knob Creek Bourbon and Rye Mix Burr Rye coming out. This was a surprise label from Knob Creek. 113 proof. So it's not that, you know, they always use stuff at 100, 120, or 115 if it's the rye, but 113 for this bad boy. And it's a blend of nine year old bourbon and seven year old rye. 30% of it is the nine year old bourbon. 70% is a seven year old rye. So this is a burr rye from Knob Creek. Look the hell out. So I bet it's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna 100% be a buyer. No idea what the price is gonna be on that bad boy. The label says notes of vanilla, caramel, and pepper. Seems a little simple. Let's make our own little burr rye tonight. There's some single barrel cash strength, or I should say store pick rye at 115. Because Knob Creek refuses to give us cash strength. And our 11 year bourbon. Just a splash, because it's 70% rye. We're trying to we're trying to mimic how good this will be. Now, this is a little bit different because this is an 11 year bourbon and like a six year rye. We just we just felt what the hand was pouring. So it's probably 70-30. Proof though is gonna be different because. This is gonna be north of 115, because it was 120 and then 115. So this is gonna be quite the same as the burr eye, but let's give it a nosing. Oh my god, oh, unmistakably Knob Creek. Delicious oat profile, brown sugars, caramels. That rye spice in the back end, this is great. Why did I never try this before? Let's take a sip. Oh my god, is that good. Why'd I never do that? Oh my god. So much oak and like a bright like citrus pop in the rice. Wow. Wow, I'm digging that. I'm digging this burr rye that I just made right here. If the real Knob Creek burr rye is anything like that, you should be on the lookout for that as well. So if you like what we saw tonight, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you're looking forward to in 2024. Now that you've seen a few more labels appear on the TTB. Have a good evening, everybody.